So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown. And so we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the reference photo that I got off Pixabay. Got to get something started. Maybe there's a few tinier ones. If they're tiny, just flatten your brush, chiseled edge, and then touch the chiseled edge and pull out like that. Need more yellow? Go get it. And pull down. What I might do there is I might get my liner brush out. I'll see now. I'm just trying to decide what brushes to use and how to approach painting. Like even people who are, even artists who are used to painting still have to make a lot of decisions because every painting that you do is different. So you can have 20 years experience but you might approach a painting where it almost feels like you're brand new again. It's like how do I start that? How do I touch, you know, how am I going to approach that? So things can happen like that. Just adding a bit dark in my paint so I can see this one out here. Okay, so at light against the dark, see, so you, inside you would need light because this is dark background and light background you need a dark paint. That's so you can see it. Flat chiseled edge brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow on the corner of my brush. And I'm just going to make some vines or, you know, some stems so we can put our flowers, so we know where our flowers are going. So use the chisel edge of your brush and just come down, however far you want to come down, and probably one over this way. Okay. And keep that same brush. And then you can easily then do some leaves. Just make some leaves. You can go and touch and pull back. You get a nice little leaf there. Look at that. See, your brush will do all the work for you. It's nice, isn't it? You can add a bit of yellow to the top of your brush here like this. There you are. And do some more. Touch and pull back, touch and pull back. Look at those, they're really nice, aren't they? There we go, pretty. That brush really gives a nice shape. Nice. You can put some more here, wherever you want them. Like I said, you can use the yellow on the top to give it a little extra highlight. See, just put the yellow on the very tip of your brush, the corner, and you can go over them again, or you can do it while you are painting. See, little tricks, little tricks like that, see? I just put them in after, which is kind of cute too. Because if you put them in, let's put more, let's do one with a, With it on top of the brush already ready to go. And we'll put see, looks nice. Just that it takes over the whole flower, but that's fine. So just keep adding them in like that. Touch and pull, touch and pull, touch, or just touch even if you're not familiar, you know, if you're having a problem with touching and pulling it back. So you can touch just like that. 
look you can what you can do is get the tip of your brush and lay it and stand up straight and then sit back all right you have to reload a lot so stand up sit down stand up sit down <laughs> there we go you have little ones and big ones good If you didn't get enough yellow on, you just put the yellow on your brush and you touch again. See? Now they're nice, aren't they? That's good. Now an angular brush is also good for that. You'll get a pointier, with the angular you'll get a pointier. I didn't want the pointy uh, edge there to it so I just use the uh, flat brush but this is an angular brush and that will give you more of a pointy if you touch it'll give you a pointy top okay now so that's why I just wanted to explain that to you but I'm going to go back to my other I'm going to go back to a small flat brush because I don't want that pointy edge I just want more of a round edge for my for my paint so now I'll put some pretty flowers over there you can have whatever kind of flowers you want but I'm going to put in a pink my flat brush pink on one side of my brush on both sides of my brush I think I'm going to go with both sides this time and a little bit of white on the corner I like doing flowers that way because you kind of get better results so we're just going to make some uh, petals so I'm just going to pull in touch pull in okay Touch and pull in. Might need to do two coats because as you, can, as you can see, it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to lighten up the pink a bit. Add a bit of white to it to make it more opaque. Okay, white is opaque, so it'll make your it won't lighten your paint too much. It's not too bad, but it'll make it opaque. Okay, it's the same thing. A little bit of white in the corner, and your pink on your this that will make it better. Um doesn't really matter which side the white is on. Okay, that's much better. Reload every petal. Reload every petal. So that's one petal. And we'll do another petal right next to it. Touch, pull in. Nice, hey? And we'll do another petal. Reload. Good. We'll do another petal. It's a nice flower. So far, so good. couple little petals there. Take your white paint on the corner of your brush. You can put a little petal right here. I'm going to take my brush and lay it down. Just move it around. Depends on the kind of petal you want. So as long as you get the pink on the bottom and white on the top, you can lay your brush down. Start on the, the Chiseled edge, touch, and then lie down, lie back, and then you can move your brush, and that little bit of white will give you a nice little petal on the edge there. So I didn't have enough white, right? That will give you a touch and pull around. We'll give you a little petal there. Good. Good, good. That's a nice little one. We got to put a little center in there, okay? So I'll do another one, and uh, every every one can be different. Doesn't matter. So we'll do another one probably here. So we can add another one here, and if you want to change the color a little bit, you can add a bit of yellow. Give it kind of an orangey. So you can you got your pink here and you add a bit of yellow to 
make a kind of an orangey color and add the corner and make some more. Touch and pull in. Touch and pull in. and pull in. Touch and pull in. So just get a little flower there. We may have to do it a second time, like I said, because it's a bit opaque. I had a bit of white, but it's still a little bit, I'm sorry, a little bit transparent, so. So it's hard when you get it to, it's transparent. You have to repeat the process over and over until you get it. Okay. So we have another one. So at least we get the basic shapes done. And then we may have to go over them again a little bit just to... Uh, so I'm adding my pink. Going into the pink a little bit more there now. Depends on the color you want. So pink and yellow makes a really nice color. So we're going to do another one right here. Here's another easy way to do a flower. Touch, pull, okay, on the chiseled edge you make the skinnier one. And then you do another one next to it. And then you can fill it in in the center and then you get a nice little petal, see? It's a little bit easier too. You find easy ways to make your petals. Touch and pull in, touch and pull in on the other side of it. So you make one on one side like this. You could even just have one and have that like a flower. And then you want a thicker petal, you just do the same thing and then make another one next to it or take join the top there and then come back around again to make a bigger one see so there's lots of different ways to make flowers and make petals make it a bit easier for yourself might want another one in here might want a smaller one in here see it's so much easier when you do that we get another one we can do out here so we just do the so put whatever color you want down there you can have any colors you want and your white on the top and then you can just go on the chiseled edge, right on the chiseled edge, and touch, 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 and touch. A little flower there, just by touching. Okay? And then we might have to reload. reload and then put the white side down. The white is on the tip of your brush and then put the white side down. The chiseled edge, sit back. Touch and sit back. Alright. Now, some pretty flowers. And we'll put the centers in. This one here needs to be, I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit because it's a little bit transparent. But I'm go, while I'm waiting, I'm going to put a center in there. So I'm just going to put a, a, my ultramarine blue, ultramarine blue on the back of my brush and a bit of red. And have whatever colors you want for your center, okay? I want you to do whatever you want to do. I don't want you to be tied to me or the reference photo. I want you to make up your own colors and just have some fun with your flowers. So I'm just going to lay a little bit of the center in there, center in here, and here, and a little one in there, and that one don't need one. That's my centers. Center gives the shape of where your flower, what way your flower is going to stand, right? So that's good. All 
right, that looks good. Nice. Next, get out a liner brush or a really thin round brush. And all I want you to do is go into your yellow. All right, so just go into your yellow. Now, let your centers dry before you do this. But go into your yellow and a bit of white, brighten it up. So yellow, white, and then tap on just to give it a little bit of life. These little bits of yellow around. And when that dries in the center there, you can put it on top of that little bit of black, uh, dark color you put there. All right, a little bit of yellow is nice. Make sure it's nice and bright so you can see it. So I'll put white on your with your yellow. Little dabs. Little dabs. That'll make your flower kind of prettier. <laughs> All the little things that you can do with your flower, isn't it pretty? Don't think we need any there because we're looking at the petals. The petals are dark and then they have these little good. Perfect. Good, jo good job, girls and boys. Now that brought it up nice, didn't it? That's pretty. So if you want to touch them up and make them come out a little bit more, all you got to do is. So if you're going for the pink one, I wouldn't do a big lot with it now because it's already done. So you don't want to put something on there and mess it up. So I'll just add a little bit of white to my corner. And I'll just add a little bit of white and in, in probably on the edge. Depends on what edge you want, doesn't matter. Touch and pull in a little bit. Just use the corner of your brush to brighten up some of these edges here. That's the best way to go about that. See? Or if you want the orange, put some more orange in there. Just fill up your brush with your orange. And just use the, the edge of your brush to fill in some of the orange just to get it to be a little more thicker or more colorful. You don't have to do exactly the same strokes that you did before. If you already got it done and just need to touch it up, just touch it up like that with the corner of your brush. And if you want to add a little more white, just use the corner of your brush to pull in some whites. Don't want to make it too complicated, right? You don't want to mess up what you already did. It's just that I found some of the paint. It was a bit too transparent, but that's nice. Just trying to show you little tricks that you can, or little, or tips. I'll call this a tip more than anything. Just use the corner of your brush to fill in. See, that wasn't, and then you can add, because you already have your shape now, so you don't have to worry about that. All you got to worry about now is highlighting it a bit. So that's it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at that. I think that'll be fine. All right, so whatever flowers you want, whatever kind of flowers, and that's pretty. All right, let's move on. So let's put some flowers in here. Now you can put whatever flowers you want in there, okay? Whatever you want. You can put roses in there or marigolds or daisies, whatever you want. I'm just going to put in a few flowers. I'm just going to use my pink color for now. On my flat brush, chiseled edge. And I'm going to, now you can draw them out first if you want to with a bit of chalk. If you feel that you need to draw something out, I put a center here and I would put one here and here and here and here and here. Start with that much first. So on the chiseled edge, touch, get thinner top and push and pull up. Now you're going to have a problem because the background's pretty dark so you can 
to help alleviate that, you can add white to your pink. That'll opaque it more. Get your top, pull down. That's better. Top, see the, see the way the brush is pointing? It's making it pointy, see that? So, let the brush make that pointy top by touching and then leaning back and then pull in towards the center. See? Touch, lean back, and pull in. Let your brush make that pointy top first and pull in. See? Good. Now take some. We're going to do a second coat on those, I think, because it looks like it needs it, you know? I might put a few extras in between. Touch. See, get that pointy top and then pull in. And. Maybe one here. Just to thicken it up a little bit, that's all. There we go, that looks better. Now, when that dries, you can do another coat. So while you're waiting for that to dry, let's add another one. Maybe, maybe there's one down here. It's coming out this way, this way, and this way. Helps to draw it first, doesn't it? So let's get that pointy top first. Touch, lean back, and pull in. Touch, see your pointy top? Touch, pull in. Make that a little thicker. And Make your top, pointy top, and pull in. Nice. Now, that one's hanging down, which is nice. Okay, and um, I'm just going through my paint there. I got lots of paint on there, as you can see, look. But I still want that chiseled edge, see, because I want to get those nice... I might put another one here, so I'm just going to touch, let get that pointy edge, and pull in. Maybe there's another one here. So you can make flowers all day doing these techniques. There should be another one here. Maybe there's another one hanging down here. So you can draw it out first if you want. Okay, so we got this, this, and this. And maybe another one here. Make it nice and big. Good. Now Load your brush, and then pointy top, pull in, pointy top, pull in, pointy top, pull in, reload. However many times you gotta reload, it's okay. Pointy top, push back, lean in, pointy top, blink. All right. And then you can pull up a little bit to get a get the back of the flower. Put a little one back here too. All right. Now, now we got to make them pretty. Maybe there's another little flower up here somewhere. Reload if you have to. Maybe there's something going on here. See? You can make your leaves like that too, right? If that was green, they'd be nice leaves, right? See the leaf? Looks like a leaf. Marvelous. Now. Now I'm going to try and uh, try another coat. 
just so I can so you don't have so you don't see through them. Add a little bit of white to your pink. Oh, sugar. All right, so just put your brushes. Uh, if it's too much paint on, just wipe it off. But you can, you don't have to wash it or anything or rinse it. And because you want a little bit of. So I got a little piece on the corner of my brush there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the chisel edge of my brush and I'm going to come down on that side of that brush, that one, and on that side. See that one, and this one, I'm just using the corner of my brush to get those nice whites go in there. Touch. I'm gonna pull in. Okay, just the same same technique you can do it that way too. So you can keep your pink on there. Alright, but if it's too much on, just wipe it off. But you can have some pink on and then white on the corner of your brush. And then you can use the same technique that you did before by touching to get your top, right? But now your top will be full of white paint and then you will pull in. But you'll still get pink, right? You still get to keep your pink. See? That little trick with the white paint on the top of your brush really, really helps. Let's make sure that you got some pink on there on your brush and then pick up your white on the corner. And then same same stroke. That way you get to keep the pink and got the white on the edges, okay? If you're having a hard time with that, just put some pink or white on the edge, pull it in. Then you can just do it that way. But I find it's uh, pretty good. If you're having a hard time with it, just put the white on the tip of your brush and just use the corner of your brush and touch and pull in some of these whites. Okay, you can do it that way too. But I find this faster. I find this faster.
you lose your pink just put more on See, I'm doing it both ways because some of them I just want to add a little extra. But I don't want to lose my pink, so if I lose my pink, I'll just load my brush. Put some more on. All right. So I'm going to take some green paint on my chiseled edge brush. All right. And I'm going to pull out a few little leaves here, little stems or So I'm going to pull out some stems, good, it's that one there, and then we got one here, and then this one here has a few stems coming out. center part. It's got some shading over here. Now you can add some more pink back. See, you can just get some really nice shadows going on, but I like that. Let's bring the flowers out even more.
Now you don't have to do this. You can do whatever kind of flowers you want. Okay, these are just my imaginary flowers. <laughs> Just trying to show you, you can do whatever you want. It's your painting. Just add a little bit of highlight there, that's all. Nice. This one here needs more shadow underneath there, I think. I think. Kind of separates it a little bit there, don't I? Now, I need some yellow on a liner brush. Would you believe? Need some yellow on a liner brush. I'm going to add little dots of yellow here, 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 and here. I even bring down a few little. Put yellow on one side and green on the other. stems hanging off it. some stems coming out of here, coming out here, coming out around the flowers. The liner brush will give you some nice thin stems like this. If you're having a hard time with the paint to move, just dip it in water. And you see it's pretty wet there, it's even dripping. But if you call back into your paint, it won't drip anymore. Okay, so if you've got dripping water coming off your brush, just go back into your paint and pull through, and then the dripping water will won't be there, and then it'll be easier to move things around. Okay? Because the background's light, you won't need a dark. So I just added my green and yellows. Let's get some yellow highlight there anyway. Alright, go back over some of those. Look 
Looks like we lost some of those bigger ones, doesn't it? We'll put some more back. So you can paint pretty loose, okay? Flowers might be a little not as loose, but um, you can put whatever flowers in there you want. They don't have to be complicated. Maybe I made it too complicated, but you know, it's always fun to try, but don't. Just a little touch up here. So wherever you want to do touch ups, you can do that. You can do that last. We can do that later. I'll go back and we'll do some final touch ups. Just trying to throw a couple little things in there so I won't forget. All right, so we got some of this going on here. I wouldn't mind trying a couple more little flowers. What can we put in there? Let me see, let me see. I'm gonna put yellow on um, my brush. Kind of a greenish yellow. And I'm gonna put a uh, burnt sienna yeah, burnt sienna, I think, on the corner of my brush. I don't know what's going to happen here. Now, this could be fun. This could be. I'm going to try a little, some kind of a little flower up here. I'm just going to touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in. That's all. That's all I'm going to do there. And I'll add a highlight to it. Just leave that like that for now. And I'm going to clean my brush. Love these flat chisel edge brushes, whether angular or just flat. You can do so much with flowers. I'm going to add red. I'm going to add red to one corner of my brush. As you can see, I like to experiment. And burnt. Sienna to my other side. Oops, there you are. And I'm going to put the red side up and I'm going to pull in a couple little flowers. This could be disastrous, but who cares? There we go, that's nice. Good. Now you can put flowers wherever you want. You want more here or there, go ahead and put them in. I like those up there, they're nice. Um, so wherever you want flowers, just put them in. I'm going to try a couple of little flowers over here. Clean off your brush. And I'm going to put white. I'm going to put white on my brush with a little hint of, let's see. I'm going to put blue and a little bit of red. It's sort of a purplish color. And then I'm going to put that on my brush and I'm going to put white on the, a bigger corner of my brush. More white than the blue. I'm just going to make some of those really nice touch and pull in, touch and pull in, and fill it in. Okay, more white, no need for the blue right now. And we will touch, pull in, touch and pull in and then we will do some more and we may need to obviously we're going to need to do a couple of coats touch and pull in and touch and pull in a smaller one there and then we do it again you can draw it out first if you want Fill in. A nice 
nice big one here. Always reload. So you touch and pull in. So it's like a backward C or a frown and then a smile or a forward C. Alright, so when that dries we'll we'll do another coat. And let's do a smaller one. Let's do a couple. So maybe there's another one here. Pull in. Just have that one hanging down there. We'll put a little stem on it to make sure it looks like it's hanging off the basket. So we get a few flowers around so when that dries I will highlight those. So now we'll take our white, this one here on the corner of our brush, and we will bring that over to the edge there so we can keep some of that shadow. Okay, so the the edge of your brush has got nothing on it. That way you can get keep that way you can keep some of your shadow. See, good. So make sure you only have the white at the tip. Touch and pull in. But see having see that. So having the bottom clean or putting the purple back on, as long as the white's only on the tip, it should be okay. You can also do it. I'm trying to put my brush flat down so that you just get the edge here, see? That's, that's what I want. Maybe a little bit on that edge up here. I get to keep my shadows, which is great. If you need more, just go for it. And in the center there, you can put yellow. So you pick up yellow. Just put that in the center and pull it out into the flower. Yeah, you can even add a tiny bit of red to that too if you want to. That's nice, isn't it? And some more yellow. So it's not totally red. That's kind of nice. May have to add some more white. When we go back and look at our final details, we will be adjusting things. Just adding a bit more yellow on the corner of my brush. Use the corner of my brush a lot. Because I get these nice effects when I want to do that. I want to lighten that up there. I can see. Corner of my brush. I want to leave some of these to last. So I can show you where you can adjust things and fix things up. So we'll be doing more with that. Good. It's coming along. So I just want to add a few little flowers falling on the table here. And um, so I'm going to use my liner brush to just get a little idea of where I want those flowers. So I'm going to use my green. So I got a clean palette. <laughs> my other one got so bad I had to clean it. So um, I'm going to put a few little flowers on the table, just make it pretty. And um, so I'm just going to make my own green. I'm going to throw the blue and the yellow. you got a beautiful green with some yellow. 
right? So that's nice. So just a little stem just to show where we're going to have a little bit of a couple of flowers. Not really sure where I want them, but I just want to have something here. Just little stems. You don't need them if you don't want to. You can put just put flower flower petals down there if you want. These are probably some stems that flowers fell off with the stems. I'm just trying to decide where I want them to. That helps me. That helps me decide. That's all. No need to uh, put too many stems in there. Okay. Pick up whatever brush you want. Almost is synthetic. All right, and I got my angular, and I got a round brush. So, all I do to make simple little petals is to put on, say, some green if you want, or red, or I'm just going to use green for now. And I'm going to go into some white on top of my brush. See, just some green and a bit of white. And then all you got to do then to get a little flower petal is to just touch. A little petal, right? You don't need to, because all flowers are pretty simple. You know? I have another one here, whatever way you want it. Just touch, see? Touch. A little bit of yellow, green, whatever colors you want. And these are little petals falling off the table. See? You want a bigger petal, you just, or like maybe even a a leaf or something. You can just touch and push harder. And then you could use your angular brush the same way. Just put some, maybe some yellow on the bottom, white on the top, right? Yellow on the bottom, white on top. It's pretty, pretty loaded there, isn't it? So maybe I'll take my brush and I'll take it and I'll touch and pull back like this to flatten up my brush more. If you need more white, just pick it up on the edge there. Right? And then you can just touch right on the chiseled edge. Touch, pull back. Touch. They make kind of nice little, like as leaves falling off. Maybe just some leaves falling off there. But if you want a flower, you can use that again. Try different brushes. I'm going to try a flat brush this time. And if you want different color flower, you can put the pink on the bottom, white on top, and you can pull it through. And then you got a nice, see? And then you got a nice, it makes another kind, any kind of flowers, you know, you can just touch to make little petals. I don't know where you, where can we put one? Right here. See, just touch. Cute little petals, aren't they? I like the red one better than the green. <laughs> Pretty simple. If you want more, you reload. You can put some over here. And you just touch little ones, you know. If you want to have little ones here, you can do that too. So just some simple little little petals down there. I'm not going to make any big um, complicated flowers there because I think you, those flowers there are complicated enough so we'll do that. It kind of just adds a bit of color. So we're going to, I'm going to add my liner brush. So I'm always switching, always have your brushes handy so that you can you know grab a, a brush when you want to. I'm just going to add a few little yellow. I think yellow would be nice on here. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my yellow to brighten it up. 
just add a few little white yellow like that. Isn't that nice? That, that looks so much better. All these little tiny details really help, don't they? A little, just a little bit of yellow. See, just little taps of yellow. Little tiny things like that are really add to your painting. You can have them wherever you want. Just to perk up your flowers. There we go. This one here needs some yellow too. I'm adding a bit of white to my yellow because it's kind of a darker yellow that I got there. So I'm just going to add a few little bits of yellow coming out of there. Just trying to add color. It's nice to get some color in your paintings. Now I want to brighten that white up a bit more and those flowers there too. I'm going to add some green to there. A few little things. These are just little last minute things. Don't like the way this is. I'm going to fix that up. And also so you can see you can make improvements. So like I said I want to straighten that up better and add some white to these flowers. Maybe the angular brush might uh, put some nice highlights on there. We'll see. So I'm going to add just white to my brush because I want to brighten it up a bit. Just adding white, pulling back a little bit. Just a little bit of yellow on my brush there, I think. So I'm going to get that nice top there. Don't want to lose my top. some more over here on the edge. So I also want to keep the shadows too, see? We got a little bit over here, it's nice. Just touching and pulling back like I did before. And might have to go this way. And here. Get a little edge over here. That brightens it up more, doesn't it? Little edge here. Start with your tip. It's just uh, just me where I'm standing up and trying to get the right angle. So don't mind me. There we go. And then we got another little edge here. So. Just try to keep that nice shape. So I'm just trying to keep it so that it has some shadow. If you lose your shadow, you can put more in. As long as your edges are nice and bright. Wait for that to dry now because I ended up with a bit of yellow in my paint by accident. Accidents happen. Some accidents I don't like, they're not happy accidents, they're a nuisance. Some more white just to brighten up this flower here. Make sure you there's so much paint I got on my brush. Like a lot of people say, how much paint do you put on your brush? Well, you have to judge it by what you want to do. So it's not a big loss. Because you're only working in a small area, so. But you just need enough to move. There we go. So I had enough to do three petals. Brightens it up. Much better. Put a little bit on top of my brush again, just reload a little bit, just to lighten up some of these. So just get your little top, make sure you don't lose that. 
just add in a few little extra white to brighten it up a bit. But if you like your flowers the way they are, you don't have to redo them again. It's just little extra touches. Sometimes I'll talk about layer, layering your paint. This is basically what I'm doing. I'm layering again another layer of white. Now, layering your paint, you can also be layering with different colors. Right? So, whenever you hear me talk or anybody talk about layering paint, that's what you're doing. Right now is what you're doing. You're layering your paint. You're putting one paint over another, but the other one, the underneath one is dry. So, whenever you do, not necessarily it has to be dry all the time, but uh, if it's dry, it's okay. Depends on the effect you're looking for. So if you leave it wet, it's because you want the colors to mix together. But I just want to put the white over that pink there. So I'm not too worried about it being dry. Kind of brightens it up a bit better, doesn't it? So you can do that with your flowers. I don't have a big lot of paint on my brush because I don't want a blob coming off there. And that little one down there will be fine. Just a little bit. You know, you have to do all the petals if you don't want to. And maybe you put enough on when you first did them. So just go back over your painting, have a look at it, and see where you think you might need a little extra this and that. But if you look at your painting and you're really happy with it, no matter what, you know, no matter what, you leave it. No matter what you think it's right or wrong because there is no right or wrong it's just you painting and expressing yourself and putting things on the way you want it you know do you want those petals to be brighter darker that's up to you because you can look at the reference photo and there could be different kind of lighting coming through you know depending on where they took that picture and all that stuff so you know as long as you get some shapes you know if you're going to if you're going to paint an apple it's no sense if it looks like a pear Right, you know what I mean? Like shapes are the most important in my opinion. So I'm just going to lighten that up with a bit of white and yellow. Just putting a bit of, let's see, just putting a bit of yellow on my brush. I'm going to add some white to it to brighten it up. If you can't get your paint to brighten up, if it's, then move away from it. Move away because you can add, uh, add paint all the time and still stay the same. But if you want to lighten it up, move away. Right, and when you move away, then you got that paint there, and then you're adding extra to that paint instead of that, and then it goes lighter and lighter again. See, so you're only wasting paint if you just keep going into a pile of yellow. So, I want to just brighten up some of these too. See, the thing with acrylics is they dry dull, they dry dull. So you have to do layers and layers of colors, same color or whatever, to get them to brighten up. And sometimes even that can be a problem. But usually when you do two or three layers, you get a nice, you get a nice bright, nice bright look to it. And I want to brighten up these here, so I'm just going to add a little bit of green. Now yellow and blue makes green, so your your brush got yellow on it. So all you do is add a bit of blue. All right. Unless you got green there, you can add green to your yellow. Okay. Want it a little bit brighter there, so I can see those leaves. So I'm just gonna 
uh, you can either go down kind of want more yellow in there Sugar. Sugar and spice. Now don't worry about those bottoms if you make a bit of a mess here because we can just go over that with the, the end of the uh, basket. But if you're sitting down painting, it's so much easier in some cases, right? I'm standing up and I'm on a funny angle. I keep telling you that because I don't want you to think that um, I like that better because it's got more I don't know, I kind of like I kind of like that messy look. See, you don't have to be perfect. Don't have to be a perfect leaf. Don't have to be it just has to be nice shapes, nice colors. And, and you're happy with it. That's the main thing. It's all about you. Nobody else. It's all about you. This is you doing this. I'm going to go through my yellow, a little bit of blue, and I'm going to put some of these out here. can't get it to work, I will add some water to my brush. I added water. It's almost dripping. So just go back into your paint and then it won't drip anymore, okay? Because the paint will absorb it. So You want some lighter ones. Just add white to your yellow, green. White really brightens everything up nicely. Gives it a bit more life, doesn't it? Now that's more lively, isn't it? That's more lively. I like that better. Probably put a few little strings down here. See, I get carried away, see? Probably put one on the edge of some of these flowers to make it look like they got little stems hanging off. See, so just use your imagination. It doesn't matter if it's... It could be abstract. You know, you can get away with anything when you call it abstract. Right? So if you have a bad painting, throw on a few extra colors, a few extra little streaks, and all that stuff. 
little circles, whatever you want to do, and call it abstract. <laughs> Don't throw it away. Call it abstract. Cool. That's nice. So now you can add any little thing you want to it. I'm going to just uh, add a couple of little, maybe a butterfly, but not anything elaborate. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to load my flat brush up with pink and red. I'm going to match all the colors there. And I'm just going to, with the pink side down, I'm just going to make touch and curve up a little bit. And then come on the other side and touch, curve up a little bit. Make a kind of little butterfly. Or it could be a petal. Whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want it to be. Just doing it for fun. So this one I will do a blue one. Let's try a blue one. Blue and white. And just make blue side down. They're cute. They could be little butterflies, or they don't have to be. It can be whatever you want them to be. So, and then I'm going to just to add these little final touches just to freshen it up. I'm going to get my long liner brush. So always experiment with your brushes. Have fun with them and just see what you can do with them. So, so I'll just take my long liner brush. It's got a nice thin top on it there. You see that? Nice and thin. I like those kind because they're easy to work with. I'm just going to take some yellow, a bit of white, and I'm going to try and make sure I don't put too much on be There we go. I wiped a little bit off. I'm just going to just give it some, I don't know, like I said, it could be abstract, right? Just these little cute. Just trying to show you that you can do anything you want. You don't have to be making things that are... It doesn't even have to... It makes sense. It makes sense, but don't have to be... It could be whatever your imagination wants it to be. Right? Just going to add another little... Maybe there's a piece coming out here. Just give it some extra. Just try if you fill up space, right? It's nice to fill up some space. I like that. That's fine. One two over overdone. Let's just leave it at that. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Something different. So that's a pretty little basket with some flowers. All right, it's pretty. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I didn't. I tried to make it as easy as I could for you. So. Um, let me know in the comment section if you uh, like this video, and if you did, you can share it and subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Signing out from Allison Pryor. Bye. The only other thing we need to do is fix this up here, because that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is get our burnt umber and some yellow. First of all, I'm going to get some burnt umber. Go back to my dirty palette. i got a couple of palettes going here. And um, straighten this up here a little bit. Just make a shadow there. And then we'll come up here like, just fix that up. We're going to put in some, but I don't like this, so I'm just going to straighten it out here on the edge. So you clean it up best way you can. You may need, not need to do this. You might be able to get it done yourself. Okay. This part here looks pretty messy, doesn't it? So...
straighten up anything that you see needs to be done. So this is the last little touches there now. So like I said, go back over what you think needs to be done. And let's see if we can make this easy. So we got our burnt umber. So you got your burnt umber, okay. So you got your burnt umber and yellow, okay. So burnt umber on one side of your brush and yellow on the other. So it's like that. Burnt umber, yellow. And I'm going to try to Bring over some of these nice, like we did up on that top one there. It's turning green. <laughs> That's okay. We can always highlight them. Touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in. Let it fade out on the top here. Okay, so at least you get get that much done, then we can highlight them after. It'll be much easier. Touch and pull in on the chisel edge. Touch and pull in, but when you touch, push a little harder. Push a little harder. Try to follow the shape of the handle. So now you got the handle is much better. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my yellow so I can get a highlight, make it easier. I'm just gonna just put a little highlight on the edges here. Cause you already have them done now, so you don't need to do them again. You just add a little touch of highlight. There we go. We already got that done there. So the, the basket, don't need too much done with it because it's been covered up a lot, but you can still see it looks like a basket, right? So that's better. That's much better. All right. Made a mess there. That's okay. That's better. Just simple little strokes. Okay, so there we go. So much for painting along with me today and you can subscribe and share and like and that way you will be able to get notified of my new upcoming videos so i will see you in the next video